Hello, thank you for having me. I'm not new to these uh, meetings, although some of you are. I thought that the first time I get to come back, I will remind you that for two long years during COVID, you've done your best to keep me away as a parent and to silence me. And what you have done is you have damage to yourself, to the credibility of this body, but more than anything, you've done damage to our kids. You have done damage to their education and to their well-being, and we will see the consequences for years to come. So shame on this body. I know not all of you were there at the time, but shame on this body, you need to do better. Now, talking about the superintendent, this Wake County public school system has artificially allowed children to graduate and patted itself on the back for high graduation rates. And we all know that what you're doing is you're failing kids upwards. These kids are not college ready and they're not workforce ready. So what I'm looking for in a superintendent of education is someone who brings back academic excellence across the zip codes, plural, zip codes. Every, every child, regardless of zip code, ought to be able to have a great education because as taxpayers here in Wake County, we know we pay enough money for that to happen. And so instead of moving kids around to even out the scores, you know, shuffling kids from school to school, you ought to be able to bring great teachers to schools that are underperforming and bring every child up. That's equality, not equity. Equity is a vacuous, meaningless um, criterion that honestly, it's all about um, social envy. Um, that actually ought to help with the busing issue, which you guys have been unable to resolve. If you stop shuffling children around and busing them from place to place, maybe you wouldn't, wouldn't need to hire so many bus drivers. So what I'm looking for in the superintendent of education is bring back the academics. Once upon a time, Wake County was known for its academics. It's no longer known for academics. And, um, and shame on you, you've allowed that to happen. You've allowed that to happen by bringing in CRT, by bringing in uh, focus on, um, on social learning, uh, SEL, um, and you've allowed our children to languish and their education to, to really um, uh, languish and show that they're not up to par. Thank you.